Hey guys, welcome to our channel, please click the subscribe button, and click the bell icon, and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will see about H2 database and we'll see how to integrate with Spring Boot. But before that let's see what is an H2 database. H2 is a relational database management system written in Java. It can be embedded in Java applications or run in client server mode. Let's open our GitHub page. Click on Repository. If you watched our previous videos then you aware that we created book REST API where we are not saving anything in the database so we will use the same. But book REST API is a part of Almighty Java MS project. Let's download Almighty Java MS project. Downloaded successfully. Let's unzip this. Here you can see two folders exist. Copy, book REST API and put it outside. Now delete other folders. Let's import this project to the spring source. Project imported successfully. Before going further let's see a quick demo about this project. Let's run this application. Server started. Open readme file. Here you can see all required requests available. Let's execute git request first. C1 record exists. Let's execute post request and add some data. C record added successfully. But whatever is saving here that is just saving in the map, that we will change it from map to H2 database. Let's stop the server first. Open all the files which we are going to modify. We opened all the files. Now first let's add data JPA and H2 database maven dependencies. Save this file. C dependency starts downloading. Downloaded successfully. That's it for this file. Now let's enable H2 database from an application properties file. Here is the property like console enabled so set the value to true. That's it. Before going further let's start the server and see we are able to access the H2 database or not. Server started without any error. Let's check. First. We need to use basic URL till rest then at the end need to append h2 console. See it opened successfully. Now click on test connection. See test successful. Now let's click on connect. See connected. Let's see where this test database exists. Open users folder which exists under C drive. See here is the file test.mv. Now let's change the URL from H2 console to simple H2 only. Let's see how to do that. Here is the property like console path and add your value. You can choose whatever you want but I am just choosing H2. Click on save. Wait for restart. Server restarted. First let's hit the same URL. See it is not working now. Let's change it to H2. See it's working. Now let's see how to connect and how to create our database in H2. Let's add database properties and properties file. Basically need to add URL, driver class name, username, and password. Let's add and copy the value from H2 home page. Now we need to add h2 dialect also.
That's it for this file. Click on save. Wait for restart. Server restarted without any error. Now let's check. Book DB is created or not. See here is the MV file for book DB. Now let's connect with book DB instead of test. See it's working. See till now we just added Maven dependency and H2 database properties. Now let's convert our plain book class to hibernate entity class. Let's add required annotations like entity, id, generated value, not null. That's it for this class. Click on save, wait for restart. Server restarted without any error. Now let's check, book table is created or not in our book DB. Let's click on the refresh icon. See book table created. Click on book. See select query created. Now let's click on run. See no data available. Now let's create a new package for the repository and create an interface for book repository. Click on finish. Now add repository annotation and extend JPA repository interface. That's it for this interface. Wait for restart. Server restarted without any error. Now let's add required changes in the book service interface. If you watched our previous video about this book REST API then we created an interface for resource same way we will do code changes for book service. First, let's rename it to iService so here i stands for an interface that is the best practice. Now convert this interface to generic interface. Replace book with T. In case of delete, we will be prefer to return a string instead of an object. And now no need to create two methods for save or update so let's merge it to one let's say save or update. That's it for this interface. Now let's add changes in book service implementation class. Comment this code now and next video we will see how using command line runner we can achieve this functionality. Now remove map related code and change it to book repository. We already did similar kind of things in the previous video so the same way I am doing here also. It's not very difficult it's easy. For save or update purpose we will use save and flush method. Now remove update method. After deleted successfully we will return JSON object but for that, we need to add JSON related dependencies. Let's add JSON dependencies in palm XML file. That's it. Now let's add required code for delete. That's it for the service implementation class. Now let's modify resource interface for delete request. That's it for this interface. Now let's add required changes in book resource implementation class.
See changes are very simple. That's it all changes are done. Let's see after added all those changes everything is working fine or not. Let's start with get. It's not working giving HTTP request error. giving this error because we added two dependencies for JSON so need to start the server. Server started, now let's check again. Starts with get. See it's working and giving empty array because of no data. Now let's post some data. See it's working, added successfully. Now let's check in DB record added in table or not. See record added successfully in database, so like that add some more data. Now let's execute it again. See multiple records are showing. In the database also 5 rows added in the book table. Now stop the server and review the changes. I forgot to demo you edit and delete. So start the server. Server started. As we know it's in memory database so when the server started all records lost. So let's add one first and then edit that. Added successfully. Now let's set it price from 498 to 500. Click on send. Now updating, giving method not allowed error, because in URL still, one exists. Let's remove and try again. See it's working. Check in DB. See price updated. Now let's delete this record. deleted successfully see record removed from DB also I check in my changes I will show you where these changes exist open our github page click on repository see here is the repository called book rest API the h2 dependency is there That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.